Hey there, it's Michael. Well, grab your coffee because in this video, you're going to discover how to forgive and truly let it go. Release all that weight, all that shift you've been carrying around so you can start the new year off a little bit lighter. And if that sounds awesome sauce, let me know by clicking the like button below. And we'll start with something that we all have in common when it comes to forgiveness. If we're living, if we're putting ourselves out there, well, we're going to get hurt. I know you've been hurt. I've gone through things. We all go through something. It could be someone cheated on you in a relationship. I've been there. Maybe someone's playing politics at work and has thrown you under the bus. I've been there as well. Or maybe it's an accident that wasn't your fault, like my last bad day, where you got ran over by the bus, or in my case, the SUV, and I hope that one never happens to you. But what I learned through that experience is that after we get hurt, it's so natural to build up a wall, to put our body armor, because let's be honest, getting hurt sucks. And when you're there, you never want to feel that way again. So you try to protect yourself or you start to push back. And that's the way I thought the world worked growing up right after my accident. I was raised to believe it was an eye for an eye. You harm me. I therefore will harm you. That's the way I thought the rhythm of the world was. But then I realized over time that all that body armor, putting it all on or building those walls or pushing back all that energy never was a guarantee. It never truly protected me from getting hurt again, and it won't be the case for you either. Carrying around a substantial load of distrust and resentment just bogs us down from getting to where we want to get to. Because to get to where we want to get to, we need to be honest with where we're all at right now. And I had one of those moments back in 2012. We went to Europe for a family vacation, and we went to Auschwitz, the concentration camp, for a guided tour by Holocaust survivor Eva Kaur. Eva later immigrated to the United States and this year in 2019, she passed away on America's birthday, July 4th. And during the tour, someone asked her how she felt about the Germans, about the Nazis. And in essence, she shared that she had forgiven them, but not because they deserve forgiveness, but because she did. She realized that she couldn't create the life she desired. She couldn't pursue her purpose or in my language, she, she couldn't really be truly wealthy starting from the inside out if she was carrying so much resentment within her. For me, in that very warm July afternoon, it was a life-shifting moment for me. Back then, I had forgiven the driver mostly, about 80%, but I hadn't really let it go. I was still carrying around some stuff. So I was honest with where I was at, what I was still holding on to, and on that train ride back to Krakow, I let the rest of it go because as Eva said, I deserved it. I had a greater purpose and so do you. But to make it stick, to truly make it stick, we need to identify that purpose. When we get hurt, we go inward. We tend to make it about ourselves, which is perfectly natural, it's so human. But when we're there, it just doesn't impact you or me, it impacts us because all of the relationships that we have, they all suffer a bit when we walk around with all our body armor on. They can't get inside, they can't get close. So to forgive and to truly let go, we all need a greater purpose, something that's bigger than us. For Eva, it was making sure that we would never forget about the Holocaust. For me, it's about helping you have the energy for the things that truly matter in your life. And you have an opportunity to identify your purpose as we flip into 2020. Because when you find your purpose, you can get past your past because all that resentment, all that skepticism, distrust, well, it can't keep up with something bigger than all of us. It can't keep up with your purpose. And if you feel you can't forgive and truly let it go, let me tell you, you can. If I've been able to do it, I know you can too because you deserve it. And you deserve to start the new year off a little bit lighter. As always, if you found this video valuable, please share it with someone in your Peloton and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe or just scroll down to say hello. And until next week, I hope you have fun storming the castle. We'll talk to you then. Bye-bye.